On Monday, Elon Musk announced that he is considering suing the Anti-Defamation League for defamation. So back in November, the ADL's Jonathan Greenblatt, seen here surrounded by all his friends, put pressure on companies to stop running ads on Twitter. And the company is still down around 60% in U.S. ad revenue after the push. Greenblatt was asked about this on CNBC. How out there are you, publicly and behind the scenes, talking to advertisers and telling them do not advertise on this platform. Are you doing that? We are not out there publicly or privately talking to advertisers. Great news. Oh, there's more of the clip. It's true. We did call for a pause back in November after the acquisition. Ah. Elon Musk tweeted, Jonathan at the ADL kicked off a massive Twitter boycott campaign less than a week after the acquisition closed. Literally nothing had changed about the site. Basically, the ADL wants companies to stop advertising on Twitter until it bans accounts that the ADL doesn't like. Like a hall monitor, but instead of detention, you lose all your money. In particular, the ADL has put pressure on Twitter to ban libs of TikTok, which got popular by reposting leftist TikToks with minimal commentary. Of course, how much commentary do you need on this? I'm a zady. Not a lady, a lady. Kind of speaks for itself. The tweet from Musk came after ADL CEO Jonathan Greenblatt met with the CEO of X, Linda Yaccarino, about the problem of hate speech on the platform. So what are some of the things Jonathan considers hate speech? For that, we turn to the ADL glossary of extremism. So we all know about the dangers of the OK hand gesture and this cartoon frog, but did you know that the other extremist tropes include the phrase, do your own research, the Celtic cross, the anti-Antifa symbol, steel toe work boots, this unutterable phrase, several numbers, the word hate, not to mention Latin mass and the liturgy of the Orthodox Church. Wilberforce fought slavery, Washington fought wrongful taxation, Greenblatt is fighting the number 12. Maybe one day they'll make a movie about Greenblatt's heroism. I hear Bradley Cooper's available. This week I tried to find some of these hateful tweets, but all I could find was people talking about this. Even though you had sex with him twice, you did cocaine with him, watched him smoke crack twice, you had no idea who he was. I had no idea who he was. I just asked the obvious question, what was Obama like on crack? But Greenblatt doesn't like Tucker either. He tried to get him fired a couple years ago. Tucker has got to go. Tucker did eventually get fired, but not before the other guy on that split screen. It's a shame his time as Lizzo's backup dancer didn't work out. But Tucker has also taken shots at the ADL in the past. This year alone, Greenblatt has effectively extorted half a million dollars from the Brooklyn Nets and another seven figures from the shoe company Adidas. Send me money or I'll call you names. Okay. As usual, Tucker's right. Greenblatt's full-time job is to find people, make them feel guilty, and then ask for money to make the guilt go away. Like a prosperity preacher without all that Jesus stuff. And this isn't Jonathan Greenblatt's first job selling guilt relief. He got his start as the co-founder of Ethos Water, the bottled water at Starbucks that makes customers feel good for buying it. Why? Because they donate some of their profits to water-stressed countries. How much? 3%. And that's rounding up. It's the kind of scam that would make Montgomery Burns jealous. Greenblatt is running the same play on Twitter that he ran on Facebook back in 2020. Facebook lost a ton of ad revenue until they changed their policies to look more like the ADL wanted them to. If Elon sues and wins, it could be a big deal. He said that the ADL has been a large contributor to the platform's drop in profits, alleging a $4 billion loss. He also said that because advertisers generally try to avoid controversy, all that is needed for the ADL to crush our U.S. and European ad revenue is to make unfounded accusations. You've got to hand it to Elon. Instead of paying Greenblatt to make it go away, he's suing him to make it go away. After Elon's tweet, the hashtag banned the ADL started trending. Looks like they're going to have to add a new entry in their glossary. Elon suggested that he will release information allegedly used by the ADL to justify its push for an ad boycott in what he described as a giant data dump, which happens to be his nickname for Mark Zuckerberg. Libs of TikTok said that the ADL's request to ban and censor accounts will go public next week. Right now, every right-wing account is praying that he's on that list. This may be a battle between a nonprofit and a social media company, but it has huge political and cultural implications. I don't know how this will turn out, but banning guilt grifters like the ADL could be a really big step in the right direction. I like Twitter, and I think it's gotten better since Elon bought it. While it can be a waste of time, it can also be a forum for some important conversations. People can ask the big questions, the ones that matter most to our future, like what should we do to fight back against tyranny, or what would a virtuous nation look like, or what was Obama like on crack, or that. 